Max. We had a lot of sunshine has made our way through the day today. We did hit 50 degrees, which actually is not bad for this time of year. In fact, normal highs are approaching 50. Here's a look at the Scotts Bluff Regional West weather camera, and uh, we do still have mostly clear skies. Current temperature at 39 degrees, wind west northwest around 9 miles per hour, dew point of 24. Uh, temperatures around the region show we're near 40 at Torrington, Scotts Bluff, Harrisburg, and Bridgeport, and also up toward Alliance near 40. 44 at Oshkosh, 27 at Gordon, 38 at, at Chadron. Here's a look at the wind flipping around from a northerly to more of a westerly direction. Wind speeds are light between 5 and 15 miles per hour in most places and strongest wind gusts mainly across southeastern Wyoming and we do have wind gusts out in that direction 20 to 35 miles per hour. Here's a look at the satellite loop as we do have mostly clear skies across the region. A few more clouds out toward Bridgeport and Dalton where we do have some very light rain showers and uh, rain showers or even a mix of some snowflakes in there as you make your way from Shadron and out toward Gordon, but most of us are staying dry across the entire region. High pressure is exiting. Uh, it's pushing out that low pressure system that moved to our north that's still giving some rain and snow into the northeast. We're going to be in the system's warm sector. Another low pressure system will skirt us just off to the north as we make our way through midweek, but we'll stay mainly dry. Here's a look at the sky cast as we do have partly to mostly cloudy skies tonight. Temperatures falling into the upper 20s. We'll have low Lows tonight in the mid to upper 20s and a few clouds as we go through the day tomorrow. Uh, most uh, Otherwise, we should stay mainly dry with those high temperatures into the mid to upper 40s. Overnight Tuesday into Wednesday, we clear out a little a strong westerly wind, so the wind definitely does pick up over the next couple of days. By Wednesday afternoon, we'll have highs near 40 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, and we'll just put a slight chance of some rain or snow showers, especially into our southern county. So that first system will move just off to our north, very minimal chance of some rain or snow showers for your Wednesday. Now we have another system right behind that that's going to skirt us off to the south. This is going to be Thursday, and that's when we have a better chance. We'll put a 40% chance of some snow showers in there, but still, we are staying mainly dry. There could be some very slight chances of moisture throughout the week as temperatures are on their way down because the wind flips around to more of a northerly direction, but it's still a mainly dry week ahead. Let's take a look at the second week of March. As most of us will see cooler air start to filter in, cooler than average from here all the way to the west coast. And it looks like we're going to continue the trend. We have slightly above average chances of some moisture. So let's take a look at that seven-day forecast. A high of 48 for tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and windy with just very slight chances of, of rain or snow shower on Wednesday, a high of 40. Some snow showers Thursday morning, a high of 37. And another slight chance of some rain or snow showers on Friday with a high of 39. Then temperatures back on their way up with a high of 42 on Saturday and 52 on Sunday with mostly sunny skies over the weekend and partly cloudy skies for the day on Monday with a high of 43. Angel.